Happy Catter Day, aka Happy Saturday to everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel and helping me be accountable with my cash budgeting. I appreciate it. So uh, I have a few things besides my cash stuffing today um, for some saving challenges. I also want to show you some downloads that I have purchased and I have some happy mail. So first off, I want to show you I had downloaded um, from Whimsy Designs. Um, I have a game. So the game comes with some dashboards, whether you want the A5 or A6, or is it A7? I think it must be A7. Um, and here is the game. Which, which potion? And it looks exciting. And I mainly got it because who doesn't love Halloween? And two, there's cats on it. So I'll be looking forward to playing this game. Uh, I also oh, purchased these downloads. Again, the cat, Halloween, and the frog in the ghost. Seriously, how cute is this? And then I also purchased these two. I believe it's if you give a mouse a cookie challenge. Um, I really, yep, say hi. Yep. Uh, I really got this because the mouse or the mice adorable I actually used to have uh, a pet mouse so not a wild mouse it came from a pet store so I'm excited for those and then I have some happy mail that I seriously have not even opened yet um, this came from Liz and Les and let's see Oh, let's see. She sent me a thank you. Oh, she even wrote on it. Thank you for your order and support of my tiny Etsy shop. I, I know you have a gazillion choices of items to buy, and I'm so grateful you chose mine. To keep waste minimal and cost low, so I can pass them on to you, I've been working on a way to ensure there's minimal packaging with this order. Receipt and order form is attached to the back of this note. I truly hope you love your order, and again, thank you for choosing something from my home and hands to brighten your day. I hope you love saving with these designs. Love, Liz. Oh, and there's her information. All right. So, yep. Okay, there's my mercy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There was a couple that I wanted, but I have quite a few saving challenges, and I have to to watch what I'm spending. Oh my gosh, I've never had one of hers. Look at this, cute, it's so cute, it's so cute. Um, so help Dr. Z replace missing photos and names from the facility wall at the Sherlock Bones Obedient School. Earn $100 upon completion. So I have a sticker for my envelope names Mary Puppins <laughs> Wolfgang Puck oh my gosh Mutt Damon Julius Caesar Zena Wagley princess and the dogs and then uh, I don't know how well that will focus in but then on this side we, oops, you put a nameplate and then a photo. And it looks like we have five, six, seven, up to eight. So between five and eight. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. 
Oh, this is exciting. Who doesn't love to play with stickers? Once I get my savings challenges kind of organized better, my binder over here is really thick and it's just all thrown in there. Um, then I'll have a better idea of just how I need to organize them because right now I'm just going out of my daisy binder here, um, but I have a lot more. Okay, so with that being said, let's start. Um, got my Meowie budget here for the month and I do need to add um, into my recurring bills and I think Now, if I can remember, uh, my identity theft, I think I was just going to add to be ahead, was $2. So, yes. And then I was going to go ahead and put eight more dollars. Oh, sure. Sorry, that was uh, life insurance, small life insurance. My identity theft is $8. And I was going to put this in here to be ahead as well. I will have to take it out for next month because I had stuffed these, I believe, for this one was for next month. And then my exercise, my rower. I was going to put in 30 because this money in here will come out next month. So we're gonna add 30 to here. Eventually I'd like to get a month ahead. So let's do this one. Some of my other bills come out automatically. My, you know, my house payment. Oh, no, the other one wants to say hi. Come on. Uh, I also took out some extra money for gas because I did not have enough in my envelope. I forgot that I went out of state this weekend, so I had to put extra gas in. So I was going to take out um, put an extra 40 in here. And actually, this really isn't out of my, I guess, monthly income because I got reimbursed for some mileage from last month, which was $40.20. So that 40 is going in here. But out of my budget, I was going to add another 30 just because I was short this week so once I um, we'll have to take this back out to pay my credit card because that's what I put my gas on all right so now let me just make sure yeah, there's nothing in here that I wanted to uh, I went to a wedding this past weekend, so that was exciting. I am going to put an extra $10 in taxes because if I'm able to do that right now, why not? I do have to Pay, I'll have to pay in some taxes this this coming year so I actually already have that set aside in the bank however if I can start saving to pay myself back um, and I can put this back in um, like an emergency fund so right now I have twenty dollars I'm actually going to take out the tens and exchange it for twenty I'm sorry did I only say twenty dollars we have forty dollars Oh, look at that. I And I 
that's right, I accidentally colored an extra one in last week. Okay, so I have to remember not to color one in. Okay. All right, so. Oops, I might, depending on how many savings challenges, um, I might come back and just add a little bit more in here to kind of pay a little bit ahead. But I do want to hit up my 100 envelope, so I don't know how much money I'll have left over. Okay, so let's do the 100 envelope right away. I have four already picked out. I kind of keep four. I was only going to fill two, or did I do three today? Crap. I think I had these written down, these three. $89, $68, and $61. Um, so that way I'm, I do four a month. I think I did do one last week and then I had pulled this one. So I always have four, I guess, that I, I know then how much money I need to take out uh, when I fill one of them or two of them, etc. So we are going to go ahead and do these. Maybe I only was only going to do two. Anyhow, because I had took out some 50s. So let's do the 89. We're actually just going to put 90. So we have 50, 70, and 90. Oh, did I do these in thirds? I think I did do them in thirds. It's not like I didn't do these that long ago, but apparently forgetful. And then let's go ahead and do, no, it was a 68 that I had pulled extra. That's not, good thing I can read my writing, right? So we're going to go ahead, we're going to fill the 67 and the 61. So let's take this 50, 20, 40, 60. 50, we have 50, 60, 65, 66, and 67. I was just looking to see if there's any star notes. I forgot to look. So 50, 60, 65, 66, 67. Someday I want to have a star note just to say I have one. Okay, so we got 67. And we're going to do 61. So like I said, we have 20, 40, 60, 61. So I filled, did I do more than four this month? Okay, so these are full. If I'm able to fill an extra one a month, awesome, why not? Isn't it, isn't it kind of funny to say this money's already spent and it's not even all in here, but it's going to go on a bill alone. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick three more. These are not in any particular order. I had mixed them up, so it's kind of a surprise. So, let me write this down. Let's pull this one, 40. Let's pull, oh, 23, 73. I feel like I get quite a few of these bigger numbers. So the 23 and the 40, I'm kind of excited. Okay, oh, sorry, I said I was going to write them down, didn't I? So 68, 73, 23, whoops, sorry, I bumped, and 40. And then we're just going to lay these on top. And those are the ones we will attempt to fill next month, which is right around the corner. All right, so let's go ahead and get into... Oh, and look at that. I totally forgot we have to fill 
these little guys in. So we have an 89. We can do 89. And then it was 67 and 61. Awesome. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. Wow, I think I did pretty good for starting this sometime in June, July, and now August. So I must have did two extra last month. I mean, I had some smaller ones, a four, a seven, a nine. But okay, so with that being said. Let's do the 26 paychecks. Let's go ahead and let's do the 20. I kind of forgot about this one last week, to be honest. So we should have $30 in this envelope, and we do because we have a 20 and a 10. How many other people are doing the 100 envelope or the 26 paycheck? Or it could be 52. All right. Um, we're going to skip that one. Oh, I totally forgot about this one, I think, last week, too. So let's go ahead and put some money in for our month of August. It's going to come to an end here. We didn't, we didn't get a whole lot of money in there, but, you know... Is my first time doing a monthly one like this, so I, I'll have to get out September. But anything counts, right? Anything matters and counts. So we have $10 in here total, so let's go ahead and do another $10 to make it 20. Oh, look at the little ice cream cones. I actually, I did have to pick up a few groceries after I went to the bank because I didn't get any cheese. I did a Walmart grocery pickup and they didn't have any cheese. And I'm pretty sure cheese is its own food group. So I had to go to the store and get cheese and I actually did get some ice cream. Okay, let's go ahead now and let's do our scratch off. I have two scratch-offs going right now. Um, it's like, where's my beauty in the piece of the book? Here it is. And obviously I have a lot more scratch-offs in my binder, but like I said, I just kind of need to organize a little bit. Okay, so let's do this scratch off oh we have five left this one's kind of a mystery i don't know how much this one uh will be worth but let's go ahead and do this bottom corner and it's for eight dollars eight dollars five six seven oh of course my ones. I need to do some swamping. Let's go ahead and do another one. So we have eight dollars with six dollars. So that's a total of fourteen. And if I put in a 10 and a 5 for 15 and take out a 1, that will be what we need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to do a little bit of build swamping just so... What do we have in here so far? We have 10, 20, 5, 35, 45, 50, 1. That's awesome. And three left? Ugh. Maybe we'll come back to that. 
no, we won't come back to it because I have other challenges. Okay, so let's let's get out Beauty and the Beast. All right, let's go ahead and we'll just, we're going to do this one. Eight dollars. All right. Um, I think we're just going to do one. So Eight dollars. So if I put in a ten, we can take back two ones. Ten. 20, 35, 6. 36 dollars for the Beauty and the Beast. Oh, out of a hundred. So, okay, we're we're not quite halfway there yet. Fabulous. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Charlotte's babies need some loving. These are worth $5 a piece. Let's go ahead and let's do two. Two spiders. Some people are afraid of spiders. Are you guys? I don't mind spiders. Oh, I totally nailed that again. All right, so we're going to put $10 in here. We have 20 in here so far. Okay, Charlotte's Babies. Let's also do our Bamboozled. And these, oh, these are with 10 a piece, so we're just going to do one. I feel like we're already running out of money. But we're saving. This is where I had quite a few ones. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, ten. I want to play roll the dice. All right. So we are slowly on our way to bamboo. Let's do some rainbow love and gee we didn't do an orange yet so let's put an orange in here and we're going to do a yellow so a three plus two is five Oh, God, I have a lot of ones in here, too. All right. There we go. So let's do our... Oh, we need to do a coin toss. I suppose you guys are like this, too, right? Where it's... Oh, I forgot this one. Oh, and this one. And oh, and I got in this one. Okay, roll the dice. We have a one. I've got another one. A three. I feel like I should have one of those little leather, like little pouches. A six. Wouldn't necessarily be as loud. And it's right eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Well, let's do one more. Three. Plus three more. One, two, three. Awesome. So I know I said, oh, we should go back and do this one. And oh, and do this one. Oh, and do this one. Oh, that's getting pretty thick. Oh my goodness, a lot of ones. But I think we are going to go back to this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh goodness, do you think we can get a little one? Six or under? Guess we'll find out. Oh, look at that, a three. Fabulous. Oh, perfect. All right, so we're gonna finish up and we're gonna put three in here. One, two, three. And we have three left, which is going to go then in our chicken scratch. We will finish this next time. Ho oh, ho, my first challenge will be done. And we're gonna do chicken scratch. We have three to put in here. So let's go ahead and we're gonna color in three little chickens. All right, everyone. I hope that you guys all have a fabulous weekend. Enjoy the rest of your catter day. As always, this video is PAW approved. Thank you so much. Bye.